Maybe you already saw the Lavarita in the Resolver weapon menu, a weapon that can shoot through walls. Well, it's actually not that hard to unlock if you know where to look. So I want to showcase this amazing weapon and its supremo that you need to wear alongside it in action in this video. Like this lets you clear a checkpoint or an FND base insanely fast by just standing still. It's pretty nuts and really fun to use. Of course, if you like the Far Cry content on the channel, then leaving a like on the video would really help me out. And let's go. I am doing a Far Cry credits giveaway every week here on the channel for 2,300 credits. So you can enter the current giveaway via the link in the pinned comments. And be sure you are a subscriber of the channel if you want to participate. Announcing the winner next week. Maybe you already got the Olua Cave on your map on the first island in Far Cry 6. I got it after talking to one of the guerrillas with the exclamation mark. And maybe you're like, okay, a cave, let's move on with the main story like me at first but totally don't make the same mistake and go here to trigger the side mission that will then in the end give you this amazing gun and i don't think you need to talk to someone first you can also just go to this location on the map and then you will also immediately find two pieces of the triada set with more coming later it's namely all about the triada blessing yarn story which starts here and for this side quest you have to look for three relics in three treasure hunts and these treasure hunts immediately appear on your map after starting this side quest. So they're all over Yara, but thanks to that hideout network camp facility which you can buy at the different home bases, mentioned this in all my videos so far. Here you can of course buy fast travel points close to these treasure hunts. So airdrop at these small camps and they can very easily reach these locations. You find one over here on the map in La Jolla. The second one is close by over here in the Cruz del Salvador. And you also find one over here in Lozania. Complete them, then go back to this cave to get this amazing rifle, the Secret Supremo, and actually also the final amigo, Uluso. I go way more in depth on this very deadly cat in my All Amigos video, which I will link to at the end of this one. Now here I want to focus on the equipment, but the thing is that this rifle is not that strong on its own. Sure you can pick up regular enemies from far away with a headshot, but it's not silenced, so you alert everyone. Like there are way better options which are showcased in my best weapons you want to get early video which you can view on the channel right now. And also against armored enemies you will need multiple shots to get the job done. And now you only want to use this rifle in combination with the special true sight ability from the Triador Supremo you get alongside this rival from the side mission. Because then it becomes the best weapon in Far Cry 6 because when you namely activate this Supremo ability you will see every enemy in a pretty big radius around you and also through walls and even cars and then with this rifle you can take all these enemies out one by one Yes, also inside a car, which is pretty funny. And because you shoot through walls, the enemies cannot do anything back. Like, totally use it when you stand near a camp, but are not facing enemies directly. Because then, with the Supremo ability, you suddenly can, while they don't know what hit them. Basically meaning that you can clear out the enemies around the supply drop, before the fight has even started or in a checkpoint or an FND base without actually entering the restricted area. It's really insane and a ton of fun to use. And there are ways to enhance this even more. The first upgrade of the Lavarita namely lets you get ammo back after landing a headshot. So if your aim is good, you don't have to reload, which is great because this can cost you a ton of valuable time during this ultimate ability. And this insane in combination with the second upgrade which makes aiming even easier. And you can also make it so that the enemies you kill leave a sticky pool of fire on the ground. But when you pick them off one by one it's not really needed that they like go up in flames. And it can actually be annoying after the super abilities effect wears off that you got like fire all around. So while I totally recommend the first two upgrades of this rival, leave the third one and spend the resources elsewhere at least for the time being. And if you don't have these resources by the way then totally check my early unlocks video on the channel with tips on how you can easily get those. Another thing you namely want to get is the Supremo Extender Upgrade that you find on the Triador Supremo which increases the duration of this effect. It doesn't need any explanation, this amazing. But yeah there is of course a huge trade-off when using this loadout because you're running around with this rifle 
and this Supremo, which means that you, for example, do not have the self-revive from the Medico Supremo or the other pretty nice abilities. You can, of course, always switch back to the other Supremos, even in combat, by going to your arsenal. But for this video, I want to focus on this combination because it basically means that you want to play around this Supremo attack. So you want to get it back as fast as possible and there are ways to do that. On the Supremo you can install a mod which says skills with a resolver weapon rewards extra Supremo charge. So then by using this rival or other resolver weapons you can build up the Supremo charge. But also regular weapons have the headshot kills reward bonus Supremo charge. So use these weapons in between the ultimate ability, charge it up and they can get into this amazing state again. It's kind of weird that the Triada armor set we also get during this side mission doesn't improve this playstyle at all. Maybe there are gear pieces though that help with Supremo charges but I haven't found them yet. Maybe when I do, I'll report back because I totally think this can be a solid playstyle during the end game, and I will be streaming that very, very soon. So keep it locked to the channel. Way more Far Cry videos coming your way, so subscribe to miss nothing. A like on the video would really help me out, and totally check out my previous video on all the amigos, including the one you also get from this mission by clicking on the screen. For now, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.